as the days become ever shorter and the nights longer, 2023 nears its end. For Issa, it has been a year of astonishing achievements and celestial milestones. Journey with us as we relive the European Space Agency's remarkable year. Twenty twenty three was the year of the highly anticipated launch of JUICE, Europe's Jupiter Icy Moons mission. In April, after years of development, JUICE hitched a ride on the second to last Ariane 5 launcher. After an eight year journey, JUICE will make detailed observations of the gas giant and its three large ocean bearing moons Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. Another science mission that soared into the cosmos was the space telescope Euclid. This spacecraft launched in July and aims to unravel the enigmas of dark matter and dark energy. In November, ESA released Euclid's first images and never before has a telescope been able to create such razor-sharp astronomical images across such a large patch of the sky. As one mission soars into the heavens, another mission ends. After almost five years in space, Eolus was retired. This trailblazing mission was tasked with observing wind patterns from space, thereby improving weather forecasts and climate models. Eolus data and its technology will have an important role to play in making future weather forecasting more accurate. On the 28th of July, it burned up in an assisted re-entry, also making EOLUS a pioneer, as it was the first assisted re-entry by a mission which was not designed to do so. As space debris becomes an increasingly serious issue, ESA is determined to search for solutions. Together with its commercial and institutional partners, ESA has developed the Zero Debris Charter, by signing the charter, space entities worldwide can register their intent to work together towards sustainable use of Earth's orbital environment. Excitement rose early in 2023 as MTGI-1, the first of the Meteosat third generation or MTG missions, sent back its first ever images. The satellite launched in 2022 and carries two instruments, a flexible combined imager and a lighting imager. Both instruments performed beyond expectation and a stunning combined image from both was revealed. The Meteosat third generation series consists of six satellites, four MTG imager satellites and two sounder satellites, known as MTGS. This program will continue Europe's long-standing expertise in meteorological observations from geostationary orbit for the next two decades and will enhance our current forecasting capabilities. Observing our planet from space remains a priority for the European Space Agency, with many new missions in development, such as Biomass, EarthCare, METOP and the Copernicus Expansion Missions, such as the Copernicus Carbon Dioxide Monitoring Mission, or CO2M. Earth observation is key to keeping our planet and the population as a whole safe. Today, monitoring earthquakes, forest fires or flooding from space already helps to coordinate rescue response. But the data can also be used to better understand phenomena like climate change, supporting the IPCC climate report. Though we on the ground might not dwell on it often, another threat to humankind might come from space itself, in the form of an asteroid. Together, ESA and NASA tirelessly work on avoiding a devastating impact. Last year, NASA's DART mission impacted on a small moonlet of the asteroid Didymos, changing its course. Next, to go and collect data on the aftermath, ESA will soon launch the HERA spacecraft. After a rapid development, this spacecraft was fully integrated and underwent testing in the STEC Test Center. From space, ESA also influences our daily life, for instance, with satellite navigation. 2023 saw the first hardware tests for the second generation of Galileo satellites, but even more importantly, the Galileo High Accuracy Service was launched in January. This new service for professionals delivers centimeter accuracy from space, further cementing Galileo's reputation as the most accurate satellite navigation system in the world. 
Nothing captures the imagination of children and adults across the world as much as the dream of being an astronaut. For ESA's astronaut class of 2022, this dream is becoming more of a reality with each passing day. In spring, the five career astronauts commenced basic training at the European Astronaut Center in Cologne, Germany. They were joined in training by John McFall, the first ever astronaut candidate with a physical disability. Perhaps one of them might one day fly on board one of the Orion capsules, for which ESA has developed the Supporting European Service Module, or ESM. After a successful first ESM flight in 2022, the second ESM has now been mated to an Orion capsule. With these career astronauts, for the first time 11 reserve astronauts were selected, and in 2023 one of them, Marcus Want, was chosen for a mission to the ISS in collaboration with the Swedish space agency and commercial partner Axiom Space. Marcus has begun training in preparation for his first day in orbit. 2023 brought a second trip to the ISS for ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen. For his hug-in mission, Andreas flew on a SpaceX crew Dragon to the ISS in August and in September, he became commander of the space station. When he returns early in 2024, he will have become the longest-serving European ISS commander. At Europe Spaceport in Kourou, it was a time for goodbye in 2023, as it saw the launch of the last ever Ariane 5 on the 5th of July 2023. This legendary launcher will soon be replaced by the new Ariane 6. Since its inaugural flight in 1996, the Ariane 5 flew 117 times from Europe spaceport and launched many flagship missions, such as Rosetta, the James Webb Space Telescope, and recently, JUICE. For Ariane 6, both in Kourou and across Europe, more tests, such as integrated launch tests, were performed, leading up to an inaugural flight for this new launcher in 2024. On the 6th of November, government ministers representing ESA's member states, associate states and cooperating states met for a council meeting during the Space Summit in Seville. They resolved to strengthen Europe's space ambitions to better serve European citizens. At the same time, ESA is modernising its programmes, speeding up its procurements and will increasingly make use of the knowledge and expertise of commercial suppliers, supporting Europe's thriving space industry. As 2023 ends and another year begins, ESA can both look forward to a bright future and look back at a magnificent year. <laughs>